we're going to introduce you to AWS and you're going to understand the concept of why AWS is different from every different cloud provider. But by the end of today, you are going to build an AWS solution. I'm going to give you the same bit of advice that I gave myself three years ago. Your knowledge is useful, but don't seek to apply it to the AWS platform because you'll make the same mistakes that I made. If you think that AWS is just compute in a different place, i.e. in a, another data center and all the rest of it, then you're already going down the wrong path. And that's the path that I'm going to take you down this morning, explaining why AWS is so radically different to everything else in the world. And what AWS have designed and how they've designed it is absolutely genius. It's unique in the world to be able to do things. So if you turn around to me and say, we do this on this on uh, like this on premise, Andy, how do we do it in AWS? The answer is we don't. Because then you're just doing what you're doing on premise in a different place. And that's not what AWS is about. London is the center or one of the financial capitals of the world. And when we show big financial organizations what we can do with AWS, they get very, very, very interested very quickly. The trouble is, there's not many that AWS architects around. AWS Solutions Architect is usually, uh, well, John, it took John nine months to pass it, but some people have passed it in three months. But we give you all the material to be able to give you the knowledge to be able to pass that exam. Uh, it's how long you take is up to you.